Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss one very interesting tricky question frequently asked in the data engineering directly interview process. Okay, and the question is how many name node or name nodes are there per Hadoop cluster? Okay, maybe you are using cloud-based Hadoop platform like EMR for AWS and all, or maybe you are using your on-prem cluster systems. How many name nodes can be there? Okay, pause the video, try to think about the answer, and here I'm explaining the correct one. Okay, so actually, when you study the theory, then generally we study in this way that there are multiple data nodes in a cluster, and there is only one name node, right? All data nodes send their heartbeat or health check information to the particular name node present in the cluster. Name node is basically having very high configuration because it is storing all the metadata information so it is very vital and all the data nodes are basically the general configuration or low configuration computer system right. So that's how we generally study and that way obviously the answer which comes in our mind might be that there is only one name node per cluster and that is from some way it is correct also in our earlier Hadoop systems that's what it was followed. But eventually, when one single name node was there in the cluster, then lot of problems started appearing. Okay, first of all, whenever any client machine try to write some information or read some information from the cluster, then they are making lot of requests to the single machine, which is our name node, right? And that way, the workload on that particular name node machine increased by a very high amount and that basically increased the probability of crashing that particular machine right most of the time server maintenance team has to take care of that particular node very carefully and all these maintenance staffs has to be introduced okay so to overcome this particular issue in some way there is a new concept appeared in some latest version of hadoops and that is called name node federation okay so what is that let me discuss okay before going to name node federation, what is federation? It is nothing but a term which is indicating a group of states with a central government but independent in their internal affairs. Okay, so they can take their internal decisions independently, they will not depend on other states. Okay, that's what the federation says, right? Now, kind of same concept is applicable in name node federation. Okay, so all you need to do, you need to remember this kind of architecture. If in interview process you were asked this kind of question, then you can explain with this simple diagram. Okay, so what is this? Try to understand. So, overall, this is a cluster. Okay, and here you can see multiple name nodes are there. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Four name nodes are there in this particular cluster, and all of them are working with same set of data nodes okay that is all these name nodes can allow their client to write or read from all these data nodes okay so all these data nodes are accessible from all these name nodes okay that is the thing that is multiple name nodes are there but they are working with same set of data nodes okay now how this improves the issue of name node failure in case of single name node cluster it is not completely solving that issue, but in some way it is reducing the workload on a single name node cluster. Okay, so what happens? Suppose department wise we have created four name nodes one is for HR department, one is for sales department, one is for finance department, one is for IT department. Okay, now if any client machine from HR department try to write some information in the cluster data nodes then that particular machine will reach out to this particular name node okay to understand the data node locations where the client machine can write the information okay and that time the agent name node only out of all these data nodes it will be giving that okay in this this address you can write the information and by getting those information the client machine of hr department will write their data in those respective locations in the cluster in all possible data nodes somewhere it will be placing okay now those metadata information where the client machine has written the data where partitions are stored all these informations for hr department client will be maintained by only this hr department name node okay very important point the sales department name node will not have any single amount of information about the metadata which the client for HR department used to write in the data nodes okay 
and the data nodes what it will do it will send their heartbeat or health check information to all the name nodes okay to make them aware that they are up and running okay if any data node is not sending heartbeat then that particular data node is dead none of this particular any name nodes will then request the client to write in that particular data node okay so like that it will work in simply way right so here what i'm trying to say that this way the traffic is getting splitted into multiple name nodes department wise okay suppose after writing client want to read the information and if the client machine is from hr department then it will not make a request to sales department or finance department or it department name node it will request to hr department name node only because only in hr department name node the metadata information about hr department in the cluster is stored okay right so only hr department name node can give the information about that metadata so once the client makes in request, HR department name node will give that information that okay, see these are the locations of in our cluster where your data is stored. Then client machine go will go to those locations and read the data. Okay, like that it will work. Okay. Similarly, if suppose some client machine is there from sales department and they want to write or read the data from the cluster, then that machine will not make a request to HR department or finance department or IT department name node. It will only make a request to the sales department name node. Okay. So in this kind of architecture, I hope you are getting a clear idea that is in this case, all name node mind their own business, okay? They don't coordinate with each other, okay? So HR department no need to coordinate with sales department and send some information, metadata information to sales department like that, okay? They are acting like individual entity, but overall they are all together present in same cluster, okay? So this way there is a possibility that in a single cluster, you might have more than one name node, okay? And this is called name node federation, okay? So as I have told you, right, federation is independent in their internal affairs. Similarly, here also if you see the name nodes are not coordinating with each other, but they are working under a same cluster, okay? Single cluster, right? So that way, they are, we can say they are federated, okay? So this is called federation of name nodes, okay? So what are the advantages of this kind of architecture? There are two major advantages. Number one is, if in a cluster only one single name node is available, then that particular name node has a huge pressure, okay? That is the machine crashing probability increases because lot of read and write requests come simultaneously, right? But here in this case, it is distributed across multiple name nodes. That is one advantage. Another advantage is, suppose due to some reason, IT department name node failed, okay? Then what will happen in this kind of cluster? At least the financial department, sales department and HR department still can work smoothly, right? Because only IT department name not failed and then internally in the back end, the backup recovery process should be started. Only IT department will be down. But suppose you are having only single name node across the cluster and that name node is down, then your whole cluster will be down. Neither HR department nor sales department nor financial department will be able to read or write data from the cluster right that will be considered as overall downtime so these are the two major advantages in this kind of architecture and that's why these kind of questions are frequently asked in the interview process because generally we study that there is only one name node so just have a clear idea it is possible that you are having more than one name node in your cluster okay and that concept is called name node federation right so i hope you understood this this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful, then please like, share and comment, subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.